You're listening to the Water Cooler Edit with Chris and Rich. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Water Cooler Edit. It appears that I've forgotten my voice in 2022, as well, I'm suffering in the first couple of weeks of 2023 already. But it's, I cannot believe I'm going to say this, we're already a month into the new year. 31 days or so have already gone past, which, where is this year gone already? It's ridiculous. But besides that, let's talk about a few things here today, because, of course, I'm joined with Rich, who hey, will be man. leaving me again. And it, again, it's not even, we're not even a couple of months into the year, and he's, he's going to leave me. He's going on holiday to England, where he's going to freeze himself to death. Yeah, I'm not sure it can be called a holiday, uh, but more an endurance test, I think. <laughs> you're talking about an Arctic blast. You know, we've, we, I, I might cancel it and maybe just go to the Maldives <laughs> instead. Huh? We've been saying it's quite cold here, and it has been. It's been close to... 15 and 16 degrees centigrade, even as low as 8 at some point. I mean, the rain came once and never again. And I remember speaking to a couple of people that I've met over the past couple of years who've come out and said, wow, it's hot here at the moment. It's 16 degrees centigrade outside most of, the, most of this month. It's not hot at all. It's cold, but <laughs> we should go back to enjoy the heat. But you know what? There are a couple of things that are around the corner. One of them are some hotels that are opening their doors here. More fabulous hotels that will offer breathtaking views in some of the most iconic places in the country. Plus, Valentine's Day is just around the corner. What do you have planned? We might have a few ideas for you. But before we get there, let's talk about some new hotels opening up. Mm. And from what we were talking about before, you were telling me there's one that's just down the road by the creek, but Mm -hmm. more importantly, there's one opening on the palm. Yeah, this is a biggie, right? It's been uh, quite a long time coming. Uh, Atlantis, the Royal. Um, it's a very distinctive looking building, impressive looking building, I have to say. Kind of got gaps in it, kind of got like where you can, you can see through. Um, like for aerodynamics or something, so the, the wind can pass through. Or is it an energy thing where they can harvest the wind power? To I don't think it's either power. of those, but they're both really cool ideas. Oh, damn. <laughs> I think it's just <laughs> aesthetic, but I like those ideas. <laughs> but uh, no, I mean, people have been waiting for this one for a long time. We're talking, it's got eight uh, celebrity chef restaurants, right? That's um, a lot of chefs. Is a I lot of celebrity name, chefs, indeed. I, I don't know what constitutes celebrity necessarily. Wait, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this here Gordon Ramsay, Jamie Oliver, mm. the dude who says, yeah, boy. Whoever he is. Whoever he is. Uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's, that's all you got. Oh, Guy Fieri. There you go. The best. Yeah, I wouldn't say... Yeah, well, I suppose he is a celebrity chef in a way. Yeah, yeah. He, he that cooking show. He does more eating than, than chefing. Oh. But, you know, yeah, he's but, my idol. Yeah. <laughs> I need to get them frosted tips. Yeah. <laughs> but no, but, you, you said that there is a, a rather important restaurant that's opening, isn't it, yeah, out of these I mean, eight? Um, like I say, eight celebrity chef restaurants, all very cool. But Heston Blumenthal is one of them. Um, it's notable because it's his first restaurant in Dubai. But he's also got a bar there, which is called Resonance. And Another very imaginative name. Resonance, well. actually. Not oh. Resonance. Resonance. And it has um, a nine and a half metre high jellyfish aquarium with 4,000 moon jellyfishes in it. There's a... Um, between two of the towers on the hotel... There's a 90-foot uh, infinity pool, so with pretty impressive uh, views over Dubai and over the Arabian Gulf. From that, you've got... And also, guess what? You're going to love this. There's a fountain. Oh. Yeah. Didn't see that one coming. I yeah, didn't predict you. a fountain. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's Dubai. There has to be a fountain, let's be honest. But I, I'll be honest, I, I do... I love a fountain, Chris. I love a fountain. So um, there's Sky Blaze which is the Middle East's first fire and water fountain. Um, and so the hotel in general, you're talking 231 luxury apartments, 631 rooms, and this is a belter as well, that infinity pool we spoke about. That is one of 90 swimming pools at this hotel. 90, nine zero. Um, it's a bit, this is a big deal, right? Because the Atlantis is, but let's be honest, is probably where well, you've got the Burj Al Arab. Um, it's probably the most famous hotel in Dubai, right? It's up there. It's one of the, two, the top three, I would say. This one's going to be in that, in that stratosphere. 
So yeah, um, it's worth checking out and it's imminent. As we say, opening February the 10th. So it's not too far away. Only like, what, a couple of days away actually? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're almost there. Of course, there is another hotel that's opening quite close to where we are currently situated at the moment because that is opening down by the creek, one of the most iconic regions, or should I say areas, in the United Arab Emirates, specifically in the Emirate of Dubai. I know I've grown up here, so the creek to me is one of those places that I'll never forget, and it's rapidly changed, and it seems to be it's changing yet again as we have another bespoke hotel opening up down there as well. And if I'm not mistaken, I think it's just opposite one of the oldest malls that we have had here, which is Dira City Centre. Oh, is it really? Is I have a really? feeling because there is a construction site that's near it's, there. It's, that's near it's Creek Harbour, right? A Creek Harbour, which is a new de- the new development, which is... Um, yeah, so that would be right next to Floating Bridge, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, you, you, you know the area better than me. So I'll say, yep, that's, let's go with it. That's where it is, right? <laughs> uh, it's called the Address Grand Creek Harbour. Do you want to know why it's uh, got the grand bit in there? Because uh, it's a grand hotel. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, right, so the uh, address Grand Creek Harbour, it's got the grand because it's the first in the address's grand collection because if you add together the amount of rooms and residences, it's over a 1,000. Okay. Right, so it's their biggest... So that's a lot of rooms for both tourists and obviously people who want to service department here. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Um, so it's got that that option there. This place looks lovely. This is their the first five star luxury hotel in Creek Harbour, and um, it's a, this place looks pretty special. And making a lot of noise is the viewing deck, which is uh, a free viewing deck right next to the hotel, um, out over the creek, where you get views of obviously the creek. Right, but um, looking at downtown, right, um, right there, you get there, and it's the views. I have to say, are pretty impressive. Okay, and dude, I'm still trying to picture where this is. It sounds like it would be very close to Dirty Center and Floating Bridge, and if it offers views, so it'd be facing that direction. So, so I'm, I'm going off topic. I'm just trying to figure out where this would be. Yeah, no, 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 because the the air, that area constantly changes. I remember it just being the the Creek and Yacht Club down there in Dirty City Center, and then I've gone every year. I go back. There is something new that's there, and now we have a, a hotel that has a thousand rooms in it. Yes, it's a big old hotel, right? Yes. Um, it's, but it, I have to say, it looks beautiful. It's also got a place called the, um, the Luma Pool Lounge, which is one of those places that's using pool lounge. But what's that? It's around by the swimming pool. But it's uh, in the evening, it's uh, quite a, well, the, the dress code smart casual because it's a nice, a really nice restaurant. That's quite near. Sort of viewing deck, not right, but obviously, so you get the same views there. So you could have, well, that'd be quite romantic, wouldn't it? Leading to Valentine's it Day, would, you had a meal there it? looking over so, downtown and the creek. Valentine's Day is just around the corner, and many of us tend to forget what to do, really. And well, there's a lot of options that you can do here, whether it is a nice day in a hotel with your other half, or should we say better half. Uh, there are th- there are plenty of things to see and do as well, and plenty of packages that uh, are offered around the country. But one of the ones that always gets me is Al Qudra, which is of course the Love Lake. It's on paper, it's quite difficult to actually grasp what it actually is, and well, it's not that complicated because when you look at it from above, it is too it is a heart, if I'm not mistaken, that you and your loved one can spend the day next to. If you're looking for something else to do, maybe you want to cement the love that you have for your better half as well, why not check out the lock bridge down at Khawanij last exit? Now, this has been around for a number of years. I didn't know about this, man. Every sure. year, it gets bigger and bigger and more and more locks are placed on it as well. So, mm. of course, it would be a nice treat there for your other half to put a lock on it with your initials on it too. I think that's really, that's a kind of cool thing. There was a, there's a famous bridge in Rome um, where they used to do that. They, in the end, they had to take them all off though because there was just like way too... Oh yeah, it I could, getting, I could getting imagine. Getting out of hand. It's, it's going to get to that point at some point because the lake in Hawanesh is... It's not massively deep, mm. so I could imagine that will become an issue at some point. Yeah. But add your locks, feel free, and of course it will happen when it happens. Lock in your love. Exactly, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, so I, th- I think that's really cool. And um, I suppose other, what are romantic places in Dubai? Um, well, the beaches are romantic if you go for sunset, I guess. And I guess the desert as well as a whole. The yeah. Days up at the night sky. Yeah, star- a bit of stargazing. Um, and a lot of people like Madanat as well as a kind of romantic place in the evenings, obviously, because you've got the canals there strolling around. 
and um, Pai Tai, the restaurant there, um, is considered, one, it's at Madanat Jumeirah Hotel, it's considered one of the most romantic restaurants in Dubai. But I've never been, but that's what I've heard. Have you been? I've is that where you're been. going? Is that where you're taking me, this Valentine's uh, Day? That sounds way too classy for <laughs> me. Uh, I don't think I can get into the current outfit that I'm wearing, and this, is, of course, is uh, formal for me. So, no. No. Rich, we are going to go somewhere special. I'm interested. You yes. got me. Where, where, where are we going? Well, it's a secret. I can't tell you. That's disappointing. You will find out eventually. It's going to be Burger King. No. Disappointing. It is disappointing. I was, I was looking forward to a Valentine's Day Whopper. No. <laughs> If only. <laughs> and that's a wrap for this episode of the Water Cooler Edit. Of course, you want to learn any more about the topics that we discussed on this episode, you can, of course, check out the MyBeaut blog, which is beaut.com forward slash MyBeaut. But I want to know in the comment section below where I should go for Valentine's Day and if you've got any pro tips. Seriously, I need some help. I keep getting it wrong every year. But Rich, any last words? Um, happy Valentine's Day to everyone. And uh, that's about it, really. Cheers, guys. Please don't forget... You're listening to the Water Cooler Edit with Chris and Rich.